Hello guy, I'm Alex and this is a new show Garage. This is the first episode. Today I will tell you how to handle such an important node as a CV joint. I mean not the external one, but the inner tripod CV joint. Servicing of this node is rarely shown, but it guarantees your safe driving. You will know what the tripod CV joint is notable for and how it differs from the simple one. I will also tell you and show you how to lubricate it as well as how to put your knowledge into practice. As you see, we have two brand new CV joints. The first one is a ball bearing, while the second is a tripod CV joint. It was given to us as its axle tree was broken. You can see that it was even filled for easier transportation. The car was under warranty, perhaps the car itself had a defect. Therefore, we got this CV joint for the dissection. Well, we started with dismantling of the ball bearing CV joint, the outer one. The the manufacturer has canted the ring that was needed to be removed in order to maintain the service of the unit, thus the manufacturer makes us buy a new detail without servicing it. We started dismantling with the ring as it was easy to demount with a screwdriver. At the same time we had to use a chisel to remove the lower ring. Now we are demounting the axle boot. If the axle boot is worn, the dirt gets inside and the whole unit becomes overworn. CV joint works the same way as an articulation, its movement is limited. We are used to dismantle CV joints, that's how it looks in a Russian car. The scheme doesn't change in principle, will it be Russian, Japanese or European, no difference. The original CV joint is based on balls, that's how they look. Now let's see what the tripod CV joint is. It has three planes and contain needle bearings. I will dismantle it. Here is the tripod. It has a completely different type of operation. There are needle bearings. You should prevent any dust or dirt from getting inside, otherwise it can immediately fail. You can see that this is a delicate detail. Now I will show you one more tripod from another car. It has less freedom of movement. As you see, the outer CV joint is based on balls, while the inner one is based on rollers. What is the difference? The inner CV joint allows larger actual movement. Moreover, you need to use different lubricants for different types of CV joint, which is crucial to know while servicing CV joints. How does the inner CV joint work? We demount the gasket ring that holds the axle boot and plug in the tripod. As you see, it plays the same role as an articulation, transmitting the torque from the transmission to the wheel. I left the tripod there in order to show you how it is installed. This is a standard position. How to serve the tripod CV joint? First of all, you need to disassemble it, which I have done already. We have extracted the axle boot and its inner part, having removed both big and small clips. It is easy. Further action should not cause any problems either. The tripod is fixed on the axle with the help of the tap washer that can be removed with a screwdriver. After that, the tripod can be easily removed from the axis. Then, all details need to be washed in neat gasoline that can be bought in a household shop. It provides a better degree of cleaning from the old lubricant. After finishing cleaning of all details, we need to to prepare them for a new lubricant. And here comes the question, which one should we choose? There are many lubricants on the market nowadays, but we need a special one made for needle bearing. This special lubricant is called tripod CV joint. Remember it, man. Let's proceed to the work. We will need a needle bearing sleeve, axle boot, axle, tripod and lubricant. We will need only the needle bearing sleeve in the beginning. We open the package and squeeze out 90 grams of lubricant into the sleeve. Leave some lubricant in the package. 
It looks like honey, but it's not. Having fixed the tripod on the axle, we put it back into the sleeve and add the remaining lubricant. According to the regulations, this CV joint needs 140 grams of lubricant instead of usual 90. That's why we need to add some more. We spread the lubricant inside the sleeve and start assembling. That's all. We need to fix the clips and install the unit into the car. As you have just seen, the process of the tripod CV joint lubrication turned out to be not as difficult. You don't have to pay money in the service center, you can do it by yourself. The most important thing is to use tripod CV joint lubricant. Using this lubricant guarantees your safety and prolongs the life of this unit. Well, guys, the first episode of Garage Show is over. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe. See you later. Подписывайтесь на канал, ставьте лайки. До скорого!